the story came about with Nadia calling me and wanting to have some pictures during this tough period of, of her life. I knew Nadia a little bit since before, as I earlier was a track coach, a track and field coach. So I'd, I'd met her in competitions and games and so, but I didn't know her well. I, we started off uh, a Sunday in, in the end of October and, and tried out some portrait pictures just to feel, uh, see how she feels in front of the camera. And if, if the pictures turns out well, perhaps we, we decide to continue and we did so. And um, she, she thought that pictures turned out really well, so I got more and more access to treatment and uh, all the things she does in daytime and so on. During this period, you, you get to know Nadia's family as well, her boyfriend and her mother and father and so on. So you almost become a member in the family. They don't notice when I'm hanging around and taking pictures. And, and it's almost like being a really close friend to them now, but um, at the same time you're, you're hiding in behind the camera and it's a kind of protection during tough treatment and so. And the toughest period is, is when you come home and, and you, you sit down and check all the, the pictures from, from today and, and see the look in her eyes and all that stuff. Uh, that's more tough than taking the pictures. At once I, I thought that I should use some tilt shift lenses for more than 50% of the pictures so I could tilt the, sh the plane of shallow and get only the things which are important in focus in the pictures and, and blur, blur out the rest. So of, of 300 pictures now, perhaps almost 200 are taken with tilt shift lenses. I thought when I started this uh, picture story that I have to show Nadia in top shape when, when she's glorious at the competition. And uh, thank God I had a picture of her personal best long jump uh, up in the air, and, uh, but I chose the picture when she was landing in the sand so everybody could see a really tight picture of what Nadia's like in top shape. Because uh, otherwise she's just any cancer patient. She's, I want to show that she's also a top athlete heading for the Olympics 2016. Uh, some happy surprises was how how tough Nadia was during the whole time. She she just compared this illness uh, with uh, her great uh, injury because uh, the summer before she got cancer, she teared off uh, her Achilles tendon during jump exercise. So she was just heading forward and she had to kill the cancer and just continue. There was no doubt about that in her mind. These pictures has meant really a lot to me because I'm mostly a sports photographer and, uh, and this kind of pictures uh, is uh, not what I'm used to taking. So, so um, it, it made me slow down and take single pictures and, and compose and at the same time try to disturb as little as possible during treatment and training and everything. So I, I had to think uh, in a totally different way to get these pictures and reflect, of course, afterwards. It, it feels rather unreal to get this award after this, this uh, uh, story. Five years ago, I bought my first digital camera with my girlfriend trying to share the camera with her. So this is, uh, this is really new for me.